Except the Sword of Kings from Odin at 5884. Remember, life is nothing without valor. Travel north to coordinates 5825. Speak with Arlia and request to be brought to Dalaran. I serve a greater power. Work complete. Once you land, head to the center of Dalaran and step on the transporter at 4947. Go southwest down the corridor and steps to 2976. Click the portal to Dalaran Crater. Travel northwest into Tears Fall Glades to Tears Fall at coordinates 1660. Continue northwest to 1458. What transpired down below? Tell us, spirit! I will tell you nothing! What lies beneath will be the end of you. Kill the Twilight Ritualists who are torturing Thoradin. death upon us. With my last breath, I drove my blade, Stromka, into the beast's skull. The 
many ages, the sword has kept the beast from rising again. But now, it stirs once more. So I must ask you to delve into the depths of the tomb and finish what I started. I will go with you to offer what aid I can. Into the water, swimming to the underwater passage at 3712. I have seen much in life and death. Even in death, the monster is restless. Its corruption has spread throughout the tomb. You will have to fight. Follow the underwater passage to the vestibule of the Silver Hand. When I saw this antechamber, I knew we had found something momentous. Here was a door so oddly familiar, like a long forgotten memory. Continue to 3741 and fight the faceless oppressor guarding the opening into the next chamber. As I feared, one of the monster's minions has returned. Its presence is corrupting the wards of the tomb and blocking the path. You must destroy the tendrils. Use pummel on the four void tendrils located throughout the room to interrupt ephemeral. using dark magic to become immune to attack. Interrupt their casting so you can strike. Defeat Sothos, who spawns in the center of the room. Proceed south through the hole in the floor to coordinates 4183. Engage the Faceless Illusionist. Interrupt Looming Decay. When it is casting Gasp of the Unmaking, move out of its frontal cone.
Continue northeast following the passageway to 4776. Behold, the site of my final battle. And there lies my foe. Even now, Zakar struggles for consciousness. You must hurry! Proceed east into the grave prison of Sakaj. Click on Zakaj the Corrupter, located at 6075. No! We are too late! Zakaj has awakened! After you're knocked back, Zakaj will awaken. Defeat Zakaj the Corrupter. The beast seems slow. Confused. The sword wounds it still. Quickly, strike it down before it recovers completely. Avoid standing in the holes created by Tear Reality. Interrupt its heal, Shadow Mending. Beware. Zakaj grows desperate. He may change his tactics. Move out of its frontal cone when Psychic Drain is being cast. You have done what I could not. You defeated Zakaj and lived. You know what needs to be done. Take up the Warbreaker and end the threat of Zakaj once and for all. After defeating Zakaj, take Stromkar from its head to claim your artifact weapon. Use your extra action button ability, Execute, on Zakaj. At last, the nightmare is over. I can finally leave this place and be at peace. I leave my blade to you. Strumkar deserves to be wielded in battle, not locked away in a tomb. It was forged by a master swordsmith and imbued with elven magics. I know not whether being buried in that beast for centuries has affected it, but I trust that it will serve you well. Step into the light at 5774 and use the Jump to Skyhold ability. Travel south to the Great Meat Hall to coordinates 5884. Turn the quest to Odin. Have you brought valor to these halls? May your battles be glorious.